Hey, I'm Andy Kelly, and these are little things I love about Glen Gary, Glen Ross. I love the opening titles and the names of the cast and crew disappearing through the windows of a rushing subway train. I love the use of red and blue lighting here and how this color palette repeats throughout the first act of the film. This is Dave Moss. Yeah, we spoke yesterday. I love this tracking shot of Levine crossing the road in the rain and the subway train clattering overhead. I don't gotta listen to this shit. You certainly don't, pal, because the good news is you're fired. I love how brutal and merciless Blake's ultimatum is and how it stuns the office into silence. Third prize is you're fired. I love how Blake crushes Moss's rebellion by targeting his masculinity the most valuable currency in this cutthroat macho business. I made $970,000 last year, how much you made? I love how Aronow sits and takes the abuse, making no attempt to rebel or stand his ground, a reflection of his character. If you like it, leave. I love how full of disdain Blake's little drinking motion yeah. is here. I used to be a salesman. It's a tough racket. I love how the coveted Glen Gary leads are tied up with dainty gold string. A slightly ridiculous piece of theatre designed to relay their importance to the desperate salesman. I love how the characters shift into survival mode when Blake leaves the room. Like a herd of gazelle in a nature documentary who have sensed a nearby prowling leopard. I love the elaborate lies the salesmen spin to try and sell their worthless Florida swampland. Revealing the lengths they'll go to for a commission as well as their dubious morality. I spoke with your wife earlier. Yeah, I'm the Vice President of Rio Rancho Properties in Furman, Arizona. I love the lighting here, the rain and the car headlights and the red neon pouring through the Venetian blinds. It's incredibly atmospheric. I love this homage to Nighthawks and how, in general, the film feels like an Edward Hopper painting come to life. To get, on the... get on a board, yeah. How am I going to get on a board trying to sell a doctor? I love how Levine's forced jollity hides an intense desperation. Mr. I just call me Shelley. I have never been afraid of familiarity. <laughs> <laughs> and how his clawing and overbearing sales patter finally breaks Spannel down. No! Larry, no! Do you understand? I love the symbolism of the door being closed on Levine. He slopes into the night without an umbrella, the weight of the world raining down on him. I love the framing here of Aronau and Moss silhouetted against the red glow of the Chinese restaurant. I love the sad contrast of Levine talking to his imaginary secretary about first-class plane tickets and large amounts of cash. Uh, Grace, gonna need a first-class seat, uh, passport, 10,000 in cash, put that with the negotiable papers if you would. And the image of him stood alone in a rain-soaked phone booth by the freeway. All train compartments smell vaguely of shit. I love Roma's speech to Link, a barrage of puzzling, evocative non sequiturs designed to soften him up for a pitch. You know how long it took me to get there? A long time. Roma is more hypnotist than salesman. I love how Roma's pitch is like a slow seduction, almost as if they're on a date. After lowering Link's guard and plying him with drinks, he makes his move. What is this? This is a piece of land. I love this close-up of the subway train, a call back to the opening titles. And the sudden change in atmosphere in the second act, from a gloomy, rain-soaked night to a bright, clear morning. I love how aggressive and unpleasant Roma is here compared to the smooth, talking philosopher we met the previous night. I love how Levine gloating about his sale to Williamson really strains any sympathy we might have had for him. Now that he thinks he's back on top, an arrogance emerges from the character. I love how easily lying and manipulation come to the salesman. Within seconds of seeing Link, Roma creates an elaborate fantasy and Levine plays along with it without hesitation. I love Roma trying to confuse Link about how many days he has left to back out of the deal. You tell me what it is. A last futile attempt to salvage what is clearly a doomed prospect showing that even hot shots like Roma can become desperate. You, Williamson, I'm talking to you, shithead. I love how Roma absolutely savages Williamson, the street-smart salesman versus the salaried company man. I love how the film ends in complete failure with not one single successful sale. Even the robbery was a bust. But Roma gets back on the phone and the hustle continues. 
Another door closes on Levine. Aronal gets back to work. And the subway train rushes past us one last time, disappearing off the screen. <laughs>